Welcome back everyone to Vectorworks 2013, the Design 2A series. Uh, this is Lesson 3E, and I'm James Russell. So in the last lesson, uh, Episode 3D, which is of course in the video description if you need a link to it, uh, I set the task of drawing something from nature. So this week I've chosen to draw a butterfly. Uh, I'll put a picture down there in the bottom right hand corner as per usual. Uh, just a couple of reference images that I've got. Uh, so I'm going to time lapse this. There's nothing too tricky in it. There's a couple of sweeps. Uh, I think I'll probably just do a couple of extrudes uh, and see how I go. Maybe an extrude along a path as well for some of the antennas or legs. And then I'm going to see if I can just render it at the end to give it a little bit more of a look. Uh, and obviously a little temptation coming up for lesson 5, which is our rendering lesson. So I'm going to give it a go now, and I'll time lapse as usual, and see how I go.
So, ladies and gents, there's my attempt at recreating my butterfly that I found. Um, I'm just going to jump right ahead and render this out, uh, just because I feel like doing it as practice for me, getting ready for our rendering lesson, but also to show you the capabilities that should be coming up for you guys. So I'm going to jump ahead. I'm not going to show you how I do it. I might record it anyway and show you later on how I did it, um, but I'm just going to show you the possibilities with the rendering. So I've just spent a quick 20 minutes uh, just having a play with some textures, getting familiar with things again. Uh, this is what I've come up with here for my butterfly, just using some default images that I've edited uh, with Photoshop. You can see that I've come up with my little butterfly friend here, textured underneath and on top, and I've just mapped those images of his wings in there uh, and given him a little bump mapping here as well. So if you have a look uh, here, I'll just try and pop that into a final for us as well. You can see it should sharpen everything up a bit. There we go. So that was my attempt at the butterfly. Uh, I'm just going to quickly pop him onto a page, uh, even though it doesn't really matter, but uh, I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, so yeah, just time lapse that quickly now. Went down in this abandoned 
factory There's no one here but you and me God help any fool who comes around So there we have it ladies and gents, that's my final presentation of the Nature Project, uh, just with our plan front, side, and for me an isometric because I enjoy doing one. Uh, that's what I've ended up with, which I think is going to work quite well for this project. I hope you've done something similar. This is actually where I'm going to end the three series. Following this video you'll find video 4A, which is the building shell and components video. Uh, it's got some lofting as well and some other exciting tools. There's a challenge at the end of that video. So when you've completed everything from the 3 series, feel free to move on to series 4 or episode 4 and follow the exercises on from there. Good luck!